hello guys welcome back to the next video where we are solving the or question under question number 10 from isc 2023 question paper for accountancy if you have missed out the previous videos do check out the entire playlist from the description box below and if you want to stay tuned with the future videos then you have to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon okay this is a sum on issue of shares where we have some important points to be taken care of while you are doing this journal and let's get started we have mb limited which is registered with the authorized capital and we have the face value of each share rupees 20 each there are 10000 equity shares application money 5 allotment money 7 first call seven, first call 8 the company offered 5000 shares however received application for 6700 shares we have different applicants, different scenarios given for each one of them. We have Vimal, Abhay and Nitin. So to have a better understanding, let's quickly do the working first so that we get a clarity who all applied for how many shares and how many shares they received. So let's do it for Vimal. He applied for 1500 shares and he received 800 shares as already mentioned in the question. So excess share application is straightforward, 700. Abhay, he applied for 2000 shares and he was allotted only 1000 shares. So excess is obviously 1000. However, one important point to note for Abhay is that he paid the full amount of 40,000 with his application. That means for 2000 shares, he's supposed to pay an application money of 2000 into 5 which is 10,000 but he is paying 40,000 that means 30,000 excess is paying that to be added to the application money separately this is where most of the students can go wrong so be careful Nitin who had applied for and was allotted 500 shares he did not pay the allotment money and the call money when due and the remaining applicants paid as and when due so for Nitin, there is no excess application. All right. So now let us clearly get some idea on how much is adjusted with allotment, how much is adjusted with call and how much is refunded. Okay. This is important money adjusted with call money adjusted with allotment and the money refunded. Okay for Vimal so application money paid 7500 as mentioned in the question this is what he has paid application money on allotted shares that he was supposed to pay is 4000 so excess application is 3500 money due on allotment for him on 800 shares is 800 into 7 so how much is adjusted with allotment the entire 3500 could be adjusted with allotment and he is supposed to pay the balance on allotment which he paid he has not been a defaulter right similarly for money due on call since he has not been a defaulter he has paid the rest so we are not required to do rest of it calculation let's do it for Abhay so he has paid an application money of 40,000 okay application money on allotted shares is supposed to pay 5000 that means he has an excess application money of 35000 money due on allotment from him on the allotted shares is 7000 so this entire 7000 was adjusted so he was not supposed to pay anything on allotment money due on call again on his allotted shares of 1000 is 8000 and the entire 8,000 could be adjusted because he has an excess of 35,000, right? So money to be paid on call is nothing for him. Money refunded is straight away 35,000 minus 7,000 adjusted with call and minus 8,000. 7,000 adjusted with allotment and minus 8,000 adjusted with call. So 20,000 is refunded to him. For Nitin, application money paid, he paid what was supposed to be paid, which is 2,500. And that is the money which is due from him. So 2500. 
excess is nothing for him money due on allotment whatever was due he couldn't pay so that is into 7 which is 3500 nothing was adjusted to be paid on allotment is the same amount 3500 is supposed to pay on allotment that is the money money due on call that is 500 into 8 again nothing was adjusted and this is the amount that he was supposed to pay which he could not pay and there is no refund for him after doing this working we get a lot of clarity and it will be easy for us to do the journals so let's go back to the journals bank account debit to equity share application account so 6700 is the number of shares applied for into 5 we get that however as I told you we have received excess 30,000 from Abhay that also comes into picture here so 63,500 is the total application money received alright so this is important just be careful next one so equity share application account debit it will be 63,500 equity share capital account will be created so that will be on number of shares offered into the application money which is 25,000 equity share allotment account how much is adjusted with allotment how much with call and how much is getting refunded so let's see here for Vimal how much is adjusted with allotment this one 3500 and 7000 total 10500 and how much is going to call is 8000 here refunded is 20000 right so that gives us a clarity and we can easily put the figures here so share allotment is 10500 calls in advance is 8000 the ones which are going to call to be adjusted with call and 20000 is refunded so this is tallying up to 63500 our second journal is done okay the third journal equity share allotment account debit to share capital this is making the allotment money due this will be a straightforward on 5000 shares so 5000 into the allotment money which is 35000 equity share allotment account debit to equity share capital account okay then we have the receiving of allotment money and how much are we receiving so if you see here we have already received 10500 previously we will not receive that right which is already adjusted above minus we have a defaulter which is Nitin who did not pay the allotment money on his 500 shares so 500 into 7 is 3500 that is not received so 3500 becomes my calls in arrear here for Nitin as we calculated below as well and this one is as well 35,000 minus 10,500 that we have already received so 24,500 is my equity share allotment account money to be created here okay let's move on to the next one making the first and final call due this is also on 500 5000 shares of 8 each that is 40000 we are making it due at the time of making it due we do not know who all will be the defaulters so we make the entire entry now the calls in advance the money that we had received earlier in advance to be adjusted here right then we have calls in arrears again Nitin 500 shares he did not pay so 500 into 8 4000 rupees he did not pay so how much did we receive out of 40,000 we haven't received 8000 because we have already received that and the 4000 that is a defaulter so 28000 we have received on share first and final call and this will be straight away 40,000 minus 8000 to 32,000 both the sides should add up to 32,000 however yeah this will be 40,000 only because we are debiting calls in advance here all right so this entry is done as well and the last entry now if you see the question the surplus money was adjusted with towards allotment and call which we have done anything else was refunded the company forfeited Nitin's share after the final call 
so the final entry is forfeiture of nitin's share after the final call so it is fully called up so which is 500 into 20 10000 equity share for feature he only paid the application money which is 2500 and he did not pay the call money which we already have debited above so which is 3500 plus 4000 so 7500 both of these are adding up to 10000 so these are the journals that we have for this sum hope this was helpful and make things easier for you if it did hit the like button and do share with your friends as well we'll catch you all in the next video with the next set of sums that we have stay tuned for more thanks for watching